Hi, Jess here from nigessa.co.uk and I'm just here with a quick technique for my junk journaling. Now I shared this on um, some junk journaling um, groups that I'm a member of and it's a, a technique that I didn't make up. I uh, saw it um, on, a, on a video, I can't remember who. I might look back and find out and then I can link to their video. Um, and basically it was like making your own vellum. So this is a printout that I did myself just on normal copy of paper. It's of a, an old um, will that I bought in an antique shop and I sort of scanned it and I printed it and then I turned it into vellum. Now I shared it and some people said, are you gonna do a little video of it? And I thought, well, there's loads out there. But then I thought, well, maybe I will. Maybe I will. I wanted to do some more. So I thought, well, let's film them whilst I'm, whilst I'm doing it. Um, so I've used a, a tea light candle. I have oodles of these. Um, some people suggested when I showed it uh, about, you know, have you tried beeswax? Well, no, I haven't. The only thing I've tried beeswax on was making my own wax wraps, which we use uh, for... Well, mainly we just use it on Parmesan. Um, so, um, so yeah, and these are much cheaper. So, and they smell. That one's vanilla. It's lovely. So I've got that. I've got some greaseproof paper. I've got a grater. And um, so I'm just on my craft desk. So I did this sort of downstairs um, on the ironing board. And I've got a heat resistant mat there. And I've just got lots and lots of grid paper. So I think I'll be fine. I've got my iron there on. Um, I think if I'm going to do this lots, I might buy a little travel iron, but at the moment, this is working. So, I have just printed, I just uh, went through, this is a freebie sheet from Artie Mays. I thought that would be pretty um, in vellum, and um, so I thought, let's, let's use this. So, all I did was, I've got a little... Parmesan grater here and I just grated it over because you don't you want the fine layer not great big globules because you don't want it to sort of be greasy afterwards now I've seen some people iron directly on the wax I think Ed might go a little bit bonkers if he ended up with wax on his work shirts and then I just ironed it. You can see where the where the wax is is, is melting underneath there. And you can see where it's slightly turning. I don't know if you can see those bits there where the where the wax is. You can kind of see my finger underneath. I might, um, I'm just going to turn my iron off steam. <laughs> so um, you can see where you need more wax. So I just grated some more on the areas that there weren't any. So just repeating this a few times until the whole thing was covered and this is a scented candle and it does smell lovely and um, it might actually help with if you're using coffee stained uh, paper it might actually help take some of that um, cover some of that smell and also some old books do have a bit of a musty smell to them there that's covering Lots more, and you can you can see through the paper there where it's sort of melting. I do. I find this fascinating. It's like having a chemistry lesson. Love it. And we are nearly done. I did do some on the other side. I can feel, see that some of that is quite greasy. And then I just do a little bit there in the corner. Oh, try the right side of the 
a grater, put some there, over those bits, try not to go on the bits that are done. Hopefully, that should get them all now. And somebody also asked the question if would would the grease from it transfer to other pages? And uh, I said, oh, I don't know. I'll try it out. So what I did with the other sheet was I um, left it um, in between. So I can see I've got candles on some of this grease proof, so I'm just, without adding any more, I'm just trying to get it to melt over the areas that's not. Yeah, so I just put the page in between two coffee stained pages under some, a great big old heavy dictionary I've got. I left it there overnight and now it was absolutely fine absolutely fine right so we're nearly done there there's just a couple of little bits down the edges but I think you can see how lovely that is you can see my hand through it and I do like the fact that it kind of shows through the other side. So I'll probably just put a few sort of extras on there. And um, that's that's how I did it. So it's got quite a lovely feel. I thought they'd make nice bags. So I thought, oh, let's see what it might look like with other paper. So I've got a dictionary paper here, which is quite thin. I think it works possibly better on thinner paper. So let's just do one sheet, rip that slightly. Quite fun to do, so I hope that was useful. I will make something out of these, so I might just finish this video off with a with a with a make with with these but I'll let it dry first okay so they're the they're done so that was the original one I've done that was my dictionary page and what I did was took some one of the plies from a paper napkin and I put it on top and put some grease proof on top and sort of went over it and it did soak up some of the candle wax i think you might be able to see there's a subtle difference there where it's soaked it up um did this it's just some printables from harry potter and i think that one I'm just gonna have that on a page i think that will look quite nice so i then started experimenting so it was a paper napkin so that's where these two plies came from and um just gives it a little bit of a different feel now normally i collage these onto tags and things so i'm not sure how that will work but we might try it i then tried a paper doily i'd already coffee stained this or might be tea stained and uh, went over it quite like that effect and then that's the one you watched me do and then i did this one and this was a collage i made i've done a video on how I made this collage and I scanned it and um, all with sort of public domain images on that one and I really like the look so let's make something with it I did in the end go directly over there were a few spots on this one I think 
where it hadn't quite taken. So I just went directly on it with the iron and I've just got my fingers crossed that it won't transfer anything onto Ed's clothes. So I thought I might make some bags. So quite like the bags to be going that way. So it's a directional or I suppose it doesn't matter if I make it that way, pockets that way. So um, don't want to use the whole sheet, so I might cut it in half. Cut it in half this way. See what happens. I'm just going with the flow. So half of this is marked on my trimmer. There we go. So I've cut that into two halves. And uh, I could make a pocket that could maybe there would only be tiny pockets if you put those halfway between a uh, signature. But I don't mind that. So let's do a little bit of a little bit of a score. Let's go half an inch. Up to that line, do a half an inch score. Oh, that might have cut it. Yes, it did. Oh, well, be warned. Just like vellum, it might crack. So this was copier paper, weight, 90 GSM. So I've split it there. Oh, well, shall we make a smaller bag then? So we'll just get rid of that bit. It's all an experiment. There we go. So we've now got, that's about eight inches. So let's do, let's get a bone folder and might be slightly lighter not got quite a sharp tip this scoring tool's got quite a sharp tip so let's go about one and a half inches like so let's go on shall we have it about four and a half inches wide that's quite a wide one maybe four Will that then meet? We'll soon find out, Jess. We'll soon find out. Not quite. So let's go to here. I did one and a half. We'll go to And just split that a bit. There we go. A little bag. Right, let's play with this and then we'll make the other one a bit better. So I'll just cut along here slightly. Slightly up. And Notch in there. Slightly up, notch in there. So that can fold over and that can go up. So we've got the back of our bag there. And then we've got a little bit of a pocket there and we can do a little punch in there. Let's see what I've got here. A little two, so a two and a quarter inch punch. Sort of eyeball it in the middle, come down slightly. That's quite cool. Right, so let's get that stuck down. Let's just use a bit of Go that way, that way. So, 
just run a bit of this along there. And then along the bottom, shall we even these up? Not that it really matters. And that's quite a cute little bag there that can either be floating or it could be stuck down to form a nice pocket. You can make a nice tag there. You could make a tag with this same paper so it matches. But I quite like the look of that. I don't mind that that's split a little bit. We have that. That could be used um, on a tag. It could be used on the tag that goes inside there. Um, and maybe on this one, I could make, I maybe won't score it, or maybe just, fold that up without any measuring. Not sure what I'm doing here, just doing. Right, so we'll put a bit of that down there. I'm going to put that to the line I folded. Right, so we've got ourselves a tube. Fold it down there, like so. So that could go in between two signatures and be a nice little pocket. Or we could just make this into a pocket that's going to go got a lovely feel to it so we could just run a bead of glue down the bottom of this to make it closed and then it's a little pocket So that could get sewn in a page. And if it was going to get sewn in a page, then we'd want to have some little thumb holes in it. So I've got a one inch punch. So if I fold that in half, I think that might be quite a nice, cute little pocket. Put a thumb hole on this side. And a thumb hole on this side. And actually, this could actually be sewn on a page and it could be so um, around it and you could have a tag going in there and a tag going in there that'd be quite cool or as I intended just put it around the middle of a signature and that'd be in the middle of a page with a little pocket like it so that's that's that and you've got this lovely feel and a lovely smell is grand. Uh, so that one is just literally going to get folded in half 
Where did that come from? Fold it in half. And that's just going to go on a page in my Harry Potter. Like in that, like that. And then we've got these lovely book pages, which again, I would probably just, like I would do with any book page, have that going on a page. I'm just wondering about, I've got a bit of coffee paper. Yeah, so I've got a bit of, Let's make a little tag. There, let's go. Two inches. I've got some tag top of punches that are two inches. So let's cut that off like that. Can we get to four? Yeah, let's go to four inches there. aren't quite four inches I might cut that down so let's have that at two this is four inches that way not quite so let's go in half actually so we know we'll get two out of this put that there like so Tag top of punch here. This is stamping up one. Do the same with this. So this one's not quite two inches, so I'm sort of eyeballing it so it's even Stephen on the shoulders there. So that just pops. And then that can just it fastened there so it's a, a flappy bit on top of there quite like that let's do another one but I might do this one with a different design so let's go down two inches well my stamping up tag doppel punches are two inches that top bit there is not straight Again, let's get this one so it's a bit of a fancier top. Okay. Do this one again, eyeballing it so it's as even as pos. And then that can get fastened over there as well. Love it. Let's cut that away. Cool, look at me. Putting things away. Not very often I do that. So then they just need to be fastened together. They could just have a bit of ribbon or something in it to fasten it together. It doesn't need to be stuck. What have we got that we could use? That's quite nice. Go through there. Go through there. Little tag. Could rough it up a bit with a bit of bit of um, inking. It's quite a cute little tag. Now we could see 
little bit of a bit of a butterfly. I take that one. So rip down. Normally I paint around with water when I'm trying to get elements out of paper doilies, but I haven't done that with this one. Stick that on there. With maybe a bit of a leaf. That word off. That straight edge off. Mm, not sure. Not sure about that at all but these are ideas that are just floating on my head need some glue i haven't got any over it yet so this is when we see what it's like with a bit of this is watered down pva Possibly needs a bit more water. It's been there for ages. I can't remember the last time I did any PVA gluing. Need a scrapbook paper to glue this onto. Oh no, no, I don't know which is the right way and which is the wrong way. There. I'm not sure how having the wax on will affect its ability to stick. So we will now find out, won't we? That on there. Um, normally I'd go over the top, but I'm not. I'm just going to leave that. And we'll see. See what happens to that. All an experiment. Right, going to clean up and we'll see where we are. Okay, so I finished this one off. I just added a bit of lace to this one and I've put that flower on there. And actually what I quite like is the fact that it kind of goes with um, the flower on there. So I thought these would be good little pockets, uh, tags even, for, for these pockets here. And I did think that you could put the tag bit down and have the flap over the top. So that would be quite nice going in a page there. So then I thought I need a pocket for this. So um, I did start and then I thought, oh, well, let's, let's film it. So instead of 
measuring i've just laid it on there i've done a little snip with my scissors there and then we'll lay that on there I've gone over a little bit there and we'll put a little snip there i'm going to put a tag on the top of this and then i'm just going to get my little trimmer in and uh, trim those bits off size we're going in there so I'm going to use my tag topper to make the pull so uh, what shall I make the pull out of might just do it out of this a bit of something on it so got these little bits left over could add some more that's not brilliant is it uh could just use that to cover that tab that would work Still got a little bit of glue on here. Uh, oh, that's not folded over. Didn't want to do that. Oh, I'm getting so sticky. Love it. There we go. Let that dry a bit. And then what I might do is just put some glue on this. down lovely colors I'll just cut around I think I might need to add a bit of glue to this but nice i'm not sure what difference covering it in wax made but liking it i hope i've done that the right way around yeah i don't think it matters actually no, so we'll make it that way so we need a bit more glue under there i might just stick it with tombow Searches. They're the bits that could potentially get caught going in and out the pocket. There we go. Gonna take 
file. Get rid of those edges. Might work better when it's dry. to be coming off. Yay, that works. Um, I haven't inked anything because I am thinking of doing a journal with no inking. Certainly quicker. Although I'm looking at the back there and thinking, hmm, I think it might need some inking. <laughs> might add some stamping. Liking it. I've got these strips here. Maybe just add that along the bottom. Really not wasting very much of that at all. And then that can go in there. So that's that page. So we've got two tags, a pocket to go in the middle of a signature, two tags and a floating tag pocket. They look quite cool. I say it's just got a nice feel to it. I like it. So, not sure that this will work, but you know, I've made it now. I'll probably bring it in somewhere. Um, but this is the dictionary page before. So, once it's waxed up, it's actually got a really, you know, a deeper sort of a vintage look about it. And it just might be nice for just using for layering on on things rather than make something out of it because the paper's weak. Uh, love these. They're great. I'm not sure what waxing this has added, but quite like it. That will be nice together on a page. Love this and uh, love how these turned out as well. I think that makes nice little little tags for in here. So quite happy with how it's turned out and I think they'll make some interesting little elements in, um, in the junk journals. So yeah, hope that was useful and um, I will see you again next Wednesday for another junk journaling idea. Okay, see you again soon.